Well, she was to hang on here from 15.40 down. Well, it's another ball game again. I think she needs a, a first serve again. She's put in a number of double faults now. It's normally the kiss of death, Joe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Positive from Moresmo. I also think that players, even if they are down like this against Kornikova, they know she can be a bit flaky. So, you know, it's worth hanging in. You never know. Terrific. She knew exactly what was going on in that rally, Marismo. And uh, that last volley, she'd already covered the cross court forehand from Kornikova, who's made a number of passes, but Marismo was there that time. wouldn't be human if she wasn't thinking I could have been four love up a double break I could have been four two back with a break but after all of those chances and possibilities the bottom line is it's three all second set interesting game coming up Complete control of the court there. <laughs> Staying positive. But the walk has got a little bit slower from Cornico, but she's thinking more. Tricky shot, this. It's quite far back, but commits herself to it. <laughs> Nerves. Break after his game. Seen it once, we've seen it ten times in the match. Second serve being punished by the forehand. Oh, only just wide. Anna Kornikova, though, is doing well to hang on here. 4-3 in the second set.
serve, first point, eighth game. Times if she'd won the point, Resmo could have hurt Kornikova. Should have done more with a volley. Mm. But after the lob, I'm surprised Resmo didn't go to the net. I mean, this really was a good lob. Follow it in at least. Played by Moresmo. See Kornico again creeping back and back from the baseline. She's got so much running to do when she's in this position. Moresmo's up the court in total control there. and dictate what's going on out here now, doesn't she? Yeah, obviously feeling more confident that she can take the ball on, putting the pressure on. <laughs> That's by far her most commanding service game in the match, by some distance. Four all now, second set. Well, I really think that Moresmo played a bad game on the last Kornikova serve. She let her off the hook. So will she keep the attacking play up now? New balls for all. an amazing drive volley. The angle that Kornikova got. <laughs> she looks cool, Alla, but spare a thought for her. She's playing every shot with her. Can't be easy. She's got a first sit serving and she's really needed to, Anna. Yes, she has. I think she's served well all match so far. It's the second time in the match the Let's drop dead. It's the kind of net where every ball that hits it is actually going over onto the other side. You, you just have to run forward as soon as you hear it. Oh, that was only a ball width wide. Bold play by Kornikova there, wasn't it? She got up well for that forehand. Really made sure of this one. 
40 15, of course, not 40 love. Falls. Down the line, it was a certain winner. And Anna Kornikova's quick. She's not that quick, she would never have made it down the line. In the end, it was pretty easy. Back in front, 5-4. Yeah, as you say, that uh, volley going back cross court, a huge gap, and Resmo just feeling that she couldn't get it down the line. That was a big game by Kornikova, because uh, you know, she has been shaky in these situations in the past. And so far, she's holding herself together and being bold when she has to, serving well. Resmo at least is playing much better, and uh, oh yeah, it's an exciting match. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, last year, Joe, she made the semi-finals. Kornikova losing to Natalie Tozia, who went on to win, of course, and she was 4-1 up in the third against Tozia. Will that be in her mind, or it's just complete history? I think history, but, you know, we've seen Kornikova play many, many matches over the last couple of years, and she has tended to be up in sets, you know, set and something up, or up in the third and a break, and... Yeah, she has lost quite a few of them. Uh, it's something that, uh, you know, she has to overcome. Marismo serving to stay in this quarter-final. Turn that was so high, bounce, Joe. Yep, great opportunity to come in. <laughs> Furious with herself there. Trying to sneak in to the net. Moresmo saw her very quickly there. And with that amount of topspin on the ball, it's always hard to control. It's almost just the scare tactic, wasn't it? It was the wrong ball, really. Too many of those type of shots in this match for Moresmo. <laughs> Same one again, sort of halfway up the net, not really going for too much. That one should be back in court. It's the first sort of slice backhand we've seen like that from Kornikova. The pressure of the score, it was good enough. Hoping Moresmo wasn't going to get there. She didn't want the volley, did she? No, she hesitated. You could see 
She played the right shot as well. If she'd only moved in a bit quicker, she would have had that volley. But good movement from Moresmo, especially to make something of this one. She's done so well to keep in this match, Moresmo. She really has. Yeah, she's battled so hard, not playing very well. Lesson to us all, keep battling on. since she's won the first point against the Kornikova serve. <laughs> this has been the story with Maresma all through her career, though. It can be brilliant, but then ordinary, and then brilliant again. Just a real hopeful shot from Kornikova. Smeresmo is fast and she'll eat that one for breakfast every time. Every shot was heartfelt. You, you look at that and you think, yeah, she really meant that. She really meant to go for them and, and be up the court. And some of them you can see she doesn't quite believe in. Again. Very well played. That ball didn't bounce very high. Konako got down well to it here. Look at the slice on that shot. Spinny second serve again. First ace of the match. From Kornikova, that is. one yeah on let courts and that maybe is the push that Anna Kornikova needs again keeps her nose in front 6-5 in the second set it's a tough one to call now isn't oh, it, I have no idea I mean will Kornikova want to finish it and, and rush and get so quick that she you know doesn't think about what she's doing and and be brave about it. I mean, that's the whole crunch, isn't it, in tennis? And you get to these positions. Does the match have the feel that Kornikova's got to win this in two, otherwise there can only be one winner after everything that's gone on? I have a feeling that that might, yeah, 
I think Corner Cover really needs to win this game, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and will Mrezma be able to cut out those uh, unforced errors that go halfway up the net enough to to win this in a tie break and go to a third. Do you think Kornikova in this next game will just look to make a play and test that resolve and bravery? Or do you think Kornikova will say, right, I'm not leaving anything to chance, I'm going to be positive, I'm going to go out and win this match? Well, I think Kornikova would like to do that, but I'm not sure how bold she's actually going to be when it really comes to that crunch time. Second time in the match, Morismo serves to stay in it. It's a hurtful first point. Kornikova must have been pleased with the return. Yes, she hit it well, but it did create a, a big angle. You can see there, that cross-court one is always on from there. <laughs> Tough break again. The tension out here is phenomenal. Be a little bit square, but the weight was moving forwards. Positive game, although for me, Moresmo, from Kornikova's viewpoint, hit too many forehands in the game. We're into a tie break. Played 3 1 3 this year, Kornikova. Just the one for Moresmo, which she won as well. Again, that slight hesitation, didn't know whether to volley or not. Actually backed off quite well, but didn't want to go for the space. Second ace in the match, and what a time to serve it. As if to prove a point. Courts now. Yeah. 
<laughs> what a strange shot. Didn't move her feet. She keeps two hands on when she plays the slice, but that looked very ungainly shot. Jumped a little, stood away from it. It was enough to catch the net. Well, oh, you've got to enjoy this. If you're French, Moresmo. It's just so nice to have the crowd on your side. for me was the shot of the match. Well, it's always such a dangerous shot from Resmo. She whips that racket head up the back of the ball. Making sure he, she didn't touch the net, otherwise she would have lost the point. Yeah. Five minutes. Five minutes. 